So this is the last one in that uh, context section for quadratics. And it is a really challenging problem, um, so be aware of that. But it's, you know, good to challenge yourself. So, um, a room measures 120, sorry, 102 meters around the perimeter. I'm going to assume this is a rectangle for a room, or maybe even a square. But there's my room. Um, and at my perimeter, is going to equal to 102 meters. And then I have a diagonal across the room that's 39 meters. Okay, so what does that perimeter piece mean? So if we have a width and a length and a width and a length, the perimeter again is walking all the way around the edge of the room. So that's going to end up being the length plus the length, which is 2L, plus the width plus the width again, which is 2W. And we know that that's equal to 102. So, in this equation I can't solve for anything yet because I don't know the length or the width. So I'm going to have to find a second equation. And this is where you might notice that you see a right angle triangle there, using the diagonal. So if you remember with Pythagoras, we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're going to use that, where a and b are the short sides of the triangle, and c is the hypotenuse. So we have the length squared plus the width squared equals 39 squared. So what we have to use here is simultaneous equations because we have two things that we don't know. So if I come back to my first equation with the perimeter, this one's a little bit easier to deal with just because there's no squares in it. So let's take a look at this. Um, first thing I notice is that everything in it can be divided by 2. So if I divide this side of the equation by 2 and I divide the left side of the equation by 2 as well, so the right and left sides. 2 divided by 2 is just going to leave me with the L, and 2 divided by the W, the 2W divided by 2 will just leave me the W, and 102 divided by 2 is just 51. And if I do some rearranging here, minus W minus W, the length will be equal to 51 minus W. So, I now have an expression for length. So I know L could also be written as 51w. So if we go back to our Pythagoras equation here, what happens if I replace the L there with the 51 minus w instead? Because they are the same thing. I've just found here that the length is equal to 51 minus w. So let's put that in. 51 minus w in brackets squared plus w squared equals 39 squared. Now this is where it gets a bit nasty and you'll want a calculator or want to take the time to work this out using some scratch paper as well, but we've got to do some big calculations here. So first thing to do is we know, well I know here looking at this that I'm going to have a quadratic because I can see that there's like w squared in there. So I know that I need to make sure I get it set equal to zero first and then the second step is going to be factor it. So right now it's not equal to zero, so we need to expand things out. So again if you have brackets squared you need to remember to write them out so that you expand it properly. And 39 squared, I'll go ahead and write that in, is just 1521. So using foil or the claw, however you want to think about that, 51 times 51 gets you 2601. Then you've got minus 51w, and you have minus 51w again, and then you have plus w squared that's from the brackets, and then plus w squared, and this is all equal to 1521. Okay, next thing is going to be combining like terms. I can see here I've got 2w squared, so that's going to be 2w squared. I also have minus 51w, minus 51w, so that's going to be minus 102w. And then I still have that positive 2601 for the 51 times 51. And all this is equal to 1,521. Okay, now that I have expanded, I'm going to subtract off to set it equal to zero. So we'll minus the 15,021 from both sides. And we're going to get 2w squared minus 102w plus 1080 here, so 1,080 is equal to zero. Okay. 
So now I need to factor this, and those are really big numbers. So the first thing I'm going to look for is, can I make it easier on myself? Is there a common term 2, 102, and 1080? All of those are divisible by 2, so if I divide this whole side of the equation by 2, and I divide 0 by 2, I can get here w squared minus 51w plus 540 equals 0. So basically I'm halving everything. Take half 2 divided by 2 is going to just be 1. Negative, 100, one, negative 102 is going to be negative 51. And 1080 divided by 2 will give me 540. So my next step here is going to be factoring. So I need to think about things that times to give you 540. That's a lot of numbers. Um, so if you're not sure, one strategy that can be helpful for you if you're not allowed to use a calculator, is thinking about doing a prime factor tree. So I might notice here that I can divide both of these by 2, and I, or I can divide 540 by 2, so I get 270. Divide it by 2 again, get 135. Divide it by 3 this time, I'll get 45. And then I have 5 and 9, so prime factor tree there. And now I can use this to kind of look for combinations of things that I can times together. So if I do 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, times 5 and 9 would be 45. So timesing all these together, that's one of my factors that I could do. Um, let's think about another one. So if I do a different combination, like 5 and 3, so 5 times 3 is 15, and then 2 times 2 is 4, times 9 is 36. Maybe one more. 9 times 3 is 27. And 5 times 2 times 2 is going to get me 20. So these are possible combinations. There might be a few more in there. But again, what I'm looking for is combinations that will times to 540 and have a difference or add up to negative 51. So since I know times and I need a positive number and adding only a negative, it means to me that both of these will have to be negative, whichever combination I pick. And so I'm looking for some that will add together to give me 51. And if I look at this, 15 and 36, if you add those, 15 plus 36, you get 51. So W minus 15 and W minus 36 is going to be equal to 0. So in this case, W minus 15 equals 0, W minus 36 equals 0, our two solutions, W is going to be equal to 15 or 36, and this should be in meters because that is what we've been measured in to begin with. So again, you've got to this part which seems like the end, but we haven't answered the question yet, which is what are the possible length and width of this rectangle? So I can see here I've got two potential answers for the width, so I need to go back up to think about what my length would be. So if the width is 15, and since they're both positive numbers, I'll accept either of those. So if the width is 15, then the length would have to be equal to 51 minus 15, which is equal to 36 meters. So that would be one combination. Now, or I could have the other situation where the width, if the width is equal to 36 meters, then the length is equal to 51 minus 36, which is equal to 15 meters. And those are kind of basically the same thing. So basically we'll get a box that's 15 by 36, or we'll get a box that's 15 by 36, just whether you want to call it the length or the width by those numbers. So again, um, it is a challenging problem here, but good to give a go at it. So see if you guys can do a few more of those practice problems on the quadratics and context.